All right, just going to do a quick video showing scriptures that strongly support the burning of the blasphemous idolaters' unholy uh, dribbles, known as the Quran and also the uh, Talmud of Judaism. Okay, because I've done videos showing that both Judaism and Islam are demonic, blasphemous, idolaters, false religions, and you know, obviously, the source of those is the idolaters' Quran of Islam and the blasphemous idolaters' Babylonian Talmud of Judaism. Okay, and part of the reason why I'm doing this is there is this cult whole. Um, uh, I guess you could say massive, massive uh, controversy uh, coming out of Sweden, where this um, they're calling him far right is burning the Quran. This this guy they're calling far right is is basically burning the uh, unholy uh, text of Islam, and it's creating uh, quite a stir over in the Ishmaelite Muslim world. But I'm covering the Talmud too because it's not just the Quran. The Talmud is equally as blasphemous and idolatrous, and ought to be, ought to be uh, burned as well. And, and, and in many ways, it's actually more blasphemous than the Quran. Because at least the Quran doesn't say, I'm not even going to repeat the kind of garbage that the Talmud says about Jesus Christ. But the, po the point of the matter is that Judaism is an idolatrous, blasphemous, evil, uh, rather rather disgusting, false religion. And the Talmud and the Quran ought to be burned. Because like I said, Islam and Judaism are two heads of the same Luciferian coin. But here are the verses that show scriptural, scripturally, essentially that it's scriptural to burn the blasphemous, idolatrous uh, Talmuds and Qurans. Deuteronomy 7, verse 25, down to verse 26, okay, says, The graven images of their God shall you burn with fire. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold that is on them, nor take it unto thee, lest thou be snared therein, for it is an abomination to the Lord thy God. Neither shalt thou bring an abomination into thine house, lest thou be a cursed thing like it, but thou shalt utterly detest it, and thou shalt utterly abhor it, for it is a cursed thing. That's the truth. The Quran and the Talmud are cursed books. They're cursed objects. And how do you get rid of them? Well, you burn them. Second Kings 23, verse 4. And the king commanded uh, Hilkiah, I think that's how you say it, the high priest, the high priest and the priests of the second order and the keepers of the door to bring forth out of the temple of the Lord all the vessels that were made for Baal and for the grove and for all the hosts of heaven. And he burned them without Jerusalem in the fields of Kidron and carried the ashes of them unto Bethel. You know, and, and you say, well, those are just talking about objects, not talking about books. Well, we're going to get into the thing of books because those are still cursed objects. And here, uh, this next verse I'm going to read is essentially how uh, you should respond to a burning of the Quran or Talmud. You should support it. And if you have one in your presence, you know, a Quran or Talmud, you ought to burn it. Okay. Acts 19, verse 19. Many of them also which use curious arts brought their books together and burned them before all men and they counted them, sorry, they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. Yeah, that's the truth. The Quran and Talmud are witchcraft, uh, witchcraft books. So what do you do? You burn them. They're cursed objects. Okay, so that, these, and there's many verses too. There's other verses that talk about burning, you know, the, the images of false gods, burning the cursed objects. So the burning, you know, burning a Quran or burning a Talmud is scriptural. You know, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that, plain and simple. So don't be deceived by this, you know, uh, ecumenical agenda to try to make it seem like uh, Islam or Judaism have the same uh, deity. And, and even this, this thing of Christianity is not even not even scriptural, okay? Uh, I, I try not to use that term because, you know, what's called Christianity is basically just Roman Catholicism, okay? The biblical term for the saint would be just that, the saint or the church of the living God. So just wanted to kind of point that out. But, you know, the deity of Islam and Judaism is uh, essentially Baal. Same thing with the deity of Roman Catholicism. And how do you treat the objects of, a, like the cursed objects of the false religions of Judaism or Islam or pretty much any false religion like Hinduism or, or Buddhism or whatever else? Well, you burn them. The plain and simple. Because it almost symbolizes, well, actually it does symbolize the devils that are behind these objects, you know, in the lake of fire. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.